Want first dibs on our holiday specials? Use coupon code HOLIDAY14. Save yourself 25% on all the items in our holiday collection. Only at AwesomeDrinks.com. Put down your knife! Put down your cranberry sauce and turkey legs! It's time to make a cocktail! You can get back to that later! Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! You can, make, nice you can make these. You, you can. Later, after you watch the show. Just go Thanksgiving Manhattan. You know what? Nope. It's my birthday today. Oh! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Ian! I was, I was expecting like pain. Oh no, that was a bit nice. That was later. Like, you confused me for a second there. I'm like, it's really? his birthday. Why do you say it right now? But. We're taping because in advance. We're taping in advance. And I caught on. But don't let the listeners know it's not live. <laughs> right. And except for if you're watching live, then it's live and it's still not his birthday. Anyway, <laughs> two ounces of rye or bourbon. Wait, this recipe? I asked for recipes. I didn't really get anything that I, that was thrilling me because they all required a lot of effort. And we're doing. 10 recipes in a row. We're common, man. Because because of Thanksgiving, this Friday coming up, we're not recording a live stream. Right. So in order to have the episodes, we did two weeks in a row. And yes. it's a lot of work. So I wanted a recipe that was simple. And I thought, hey, when I was on a Reddit, people were asking, actually the Reddit office was saying, hey, cocktail team, the channel, where are your, what's what's a good Thanksgiving recipe? And somebody said, I'm not a bar back, I do blah, 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 but I think this would be cool. And it boom. It's good to me. And I read, I read, I'm like, Okay, so it's a Manhattan, but you remove the man, Hatton. You you take out vermouth, you sub in amaretto. Right. You take out angostura, you sub in walnut bitters. And it's called the Thanksgiving Manhattan. Because I named it. You didn't actually give it. Okay. But it made sense. It was Manhattan on Thanksgiving. Boom! That's from Rock Gypsy on Reddit. Yeah. So. Okay. I then picked this up because I was looking for some new rye. So Whistle Pig is supposed to be pretty good. Right, so I went yeah. with that $60. It better, so be I, it better be good. Maybe we should eventually review it. This is Whistle Pig Straight Rye Whiskey Single Barrel, bottled exclusively for the Grand Estate. Which is New Hampshire, if you don't know. 603 we represent well bitches and all those folks that watch. I know there's at there's least There's signs that I can't do that would go in here. That's the man on the mountain. Oh, it fell. <laughs> No, we're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. All right, so, and, and, and not in a, we like gay people, but we're just saying. Yeah. No, we love gay people. Right? We're awesome. Just not, not, not that much. A little bit. Hey, make know. a drink. Wait, do we? Do okay, we, you, want, you want to read this? Oh, no, no. Heck no. I'll do the drink. Okay, Derek said make a drink. I'm going to read this. Okay, so, uh, Mark Vanderzanden, a.k.a. DJ Metal Freak, submitted a cocktail last week called the Hazel's Black Gold. And we didn't have, for one reason or another... I don't remember. Don't know why. We didn't have his uh, his write up, so we're reading his write up now. So Mark gets two episodes because he had a drink episode and he gets a dedication episode. So what? What? That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy shock. So this is what Mark says. Hi Derek, I've been watching the show regularly now since I first stumbled upon it a couple months ago on the drink channel on my Roku, which I heard they were doing that, which is cool. Yep. We recently oh. bought a condo and layout included a wet bar, so I've been slowly building together quite a bar setup and have been ha having fun trying various concoctions. Ah, <laughs> you said God. God. <laughs> I watch show for advice and ideas, of course, and sensational cutting edge TV that it is. LOL. Yeah, I'm LOLing right now as I spill like two ingredients, almost break my my beaker. Go ahead. Take your time. I'm reading. Don't hurry. I'm not trying said, to hurry. I said here's just an idiot. $30 to help trudge forward, keep, keep the ship afloat, and of course get a shameless plug for my own internet endeavors along the way, which come down below. We'll get to those. Endeavors. A couple of years ago, I started a traditional metal fan site called True Metal Lives and went on to become an internet DJ and held champion underground metal. And help champion underground metal. Sorry. Champion, like like Braveheart. Like to, yeah, to champion something. As in... To champion, it's a verb. Yes. I am DJ Metal Freak at SonicAsylumRadio.com. During this time, my True Metal Lives website has grown into a promotional tool. I work with dozens of bands from all over the world to help get their music out of the masses. Having already put together a couple of compilation CDs, we're handed out at festivals in the U.S. around the world as well. A few around the world as well. Now, two years later, True Metal Lives... Is that Lives or Lives? I'm guessing it's Lives. True Metal Lives... How do you know the difference? I don't... It's context. Oh, wow. But in the, in, the, in the name, there's no context, right? Right. So I'm guessing True Metal Lives. I'll go with that. Yeah. Is taking the next step and is itself becoming a streaming radio station that will be streaming... Underground Metal 24-7 going forward as of Halloween, which means right now, because it's after Halloween. I'm washing my hands. You keep going. Okay. If any of your listeners enjoy, listeners enjoy some traditional metal, they might be interested in checking out. Here's the here's the URL. www.truemetallives.com Or I, lives. Or lives. And I don't think the exclamation points are part of the URL. After com. Okay. 
He probably won't get there. No. Uh, finally, can you make me a cocktail? Something with an appropriate heavy metal theme, perhaps. What did we make? The hazel, the hazel black. Yeah. Black. Oh, yeah, he's... Uh, hazel black gold. That was pretty metal, I guess. Ah! You're just screaming off. Everything's metal. <laughs> Wishing Common Man Cocktails much success and wishing all of you happy holidays. You guessed well. right on the contacts, Ian. All right, good. Thank you. DJ Metal Freak is in the chat room live. Thank you for being here. Uh, and thank you for the donation. And thank you for doing your own internet thing. That's cool. I'll have to check that out. I like metal, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I like a lot of music. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like metal, I think. But, I mean, it sounds like there's a lot of stuff in there that I wouldn't know, which is cool. You're that type of guy. You could discover. I could discover. Yeah, you, you're I like about, discovering stuff. Yeah, you're about that. I remember when I discovered tub oh, weights. I'm never, I'm never really been into that. I just like stuff that I, I like. I, I know. Actually, my, uh, my Muay Thai coach is all about. He loves metal. He loves good music and stuff. He'd actually probably like. Well, that. Well, most people like good music. That. It's just all relative to them. This is true. I like all kinds of different music. We're done. He's got some interesting. Oh. My, Muay Thai guy likes his uh, ball sagoth and all this crazy stuff I'd never heard of. Ball before. sack off. Ball, Bal Sagoth. It's crazy. That looks good. I think so. I'm gonna drink it. You should. You should hurry up. Now you can hurry. Oh you get God. orange zest on your hand. I saw it. What? Maybe it was just the light. I don't. Th I've got everything else on my hand, but not orange zest. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> what was that? Was that you going? This is <laughs> going to be a rough night, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> And then he drank that, that it into was, his lung. That was rye in the nose, and then the amaretto was really good right in there. So the amaretto like plays really well with that, I think. Yeah, this makes you open up your eye yeah. and nose holes. <laughs> I was enjoying the amaretto, unaware of the creeping bourbon burn that uh -huh. was going to jump on my throat. Mm. Now I know it's there, though, so look at it. What are we talking about for... Oh. <laughs> oh. There's 100 proof, 100% rye. That makes sense. Yeah. This sucker's going to... This is going to make you write home to mommy. And say happy Thanksgiving. I just got myself drunk on the Thanksgiving Manhattan. Oh, that's good. Bitches. Happy Thanksgiving, bitch. Yeah, that could have been called the Happy Thanksgiving bitch cocktail. It's not a bitch cocktail. That's strong. It's the, oh. oh, so that's yeah. If you call it, a, I guess a bitch cocktail, it means it's weak. Maybe. Yeah. I've never heard anybody call it a cocktail a bitch. I don't before. know. If someone's Maybe. weak, they don't call her a bitch. Right. Maybe. A happy uh, thanks angry. It can Thanksgiving be Thanksgiving Manhattan. Angry. This will tear your motherfucker. You know what though? <laughs> <laughs> this is good for if you're looking to get either A, really messed up. Or you can drink those slow. I would drink this slow because this yeah. is this is not a fast drink. No. This is a sipper. I was mistaken on the first sip. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is the drink that just keeps on giving. I learned fast. But at the same time, <laughs> it's got the spices from the amaretto. Maybe. So it, it feels like it's, well. it's holiday. Hmm. It Especially does. when you when you hear it's called like and, and the orange. I mean, there's or is there orange Manhattan or old fashioned? What am I thinking? Yes. Manhattan has the cherries. Orange, orange is for the old fashioned mm -hmm. sometimes, but the orange is really nice in there with the um, the amaretto also. Right. It's got like a nice. It's like, what, what would you orange juice and amaretto just play nice together? So the orange zest and the amaretto are kind of nice. Yeah. I mean, the cherry would the the submitter said don't use one of the, for our garnish. He really said orange. Uh, orange peel, lemon peel, don't use one of those stupid fake maraschino cherries. <laughs> it's it's the cocktail, I mean, it is the Reddit cocktail channel. I can actually picture a little it's bit of like OJ her. in that. Maybe. Like, it I would ruin the color. It would, the yeah, color would change it. <clears throat> Not oh, so much. Maybe that's what It kind of brings itself, it's part of the, the, the Lazaroni has a lot of flavor to it. Yeah. It does, and the bourbon is strong. I think try that. Um, Maybe I get that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the thing is, if you taste it and then try oh, my it. tooth. Good job. I'm an idiot. You? You're an idiot. The bitters are good. I like those bitters. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's tough because there's so many things happening to my senses. One of them is hot. Mm. One of them is burn. Yeah. <laughs> burn, David, burn. burn. Uh, so, and then there's that slight sweetness. This blows away Manhattan to me because I'm not yeah. a big fan of vermouth. And no, I, I love Manhattan. Wait till you see Sunday Night Shooters. Yeah, we got some vermouth coming up. But this is definitely a, a little bit more on the wild side for a martini type right. drink. Good yeah. use though for Whistle Pig because it it gives you it. When I was envisioning making this recipe, I envisioned using like a really good rye 
whiskey because it just seemed like because it's the core two ounces to one half ounce that's the core spirit yeah. right it is no doubt the core it's not like oh a long island iced tea that's next week yeah. um but the remake of the classic yes yeah. this this is definitely for the, the people who can dig a rye or a bourbon or anything in that because you could sub if you like bourbon better or you have whistle pig bourbon yeah. you're like man i wish i could make this recipe right now but i don't have this rye whiskey of any type use bourbon you can use either and a drink like this with these proportions, the core spirit's really going to come out. And the subtleties right. of the core spirit aren't going to be lost right. by adding the half ounce of amaretto and the, the bitters that we added. Right. Here. You're going to get a lot of the core characteristics. And if you need more bitters, you just dump a couple more in there. Yeah, bitter, yeah. bitter to taste. How do you stab yourself and I'm do not weird things? Why do you do weird things with knives? I don't know. That's weird. What, do you play? You still playing guitar? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that why. Yeah. Okay, like, I have calluses on my fingers. Yeah, because so I'm like, them. I can see that there's that's not natural. <laughs> but. I guess that, that, that doesn't help. Maybe I should start playing guitar. You right should. We can jam. I'll bring with my axe. <laughs> you don't have an axe. We can slap it a bass. If you have calluses, you probably don't have an axe. You're, probably, an axe. you're playing acoustic, aren't you? No, I have a. Oh, really? I have an axe, Road Star. What type of guitar do you own? <laughs> yeah, do you play, what type of instrument do you play? Yes. If it's a guitar, what kind of guitar? Right, what type of guitar? Because I don't do know what you think rock? about. Right. Or do you rock? Right. Or do you metal? Or do you get Do you country, do you bluegrass, strings? do you blues, do you, what do you do? I have a Chet Atkins nylon that I, the, I have two Chet Atkins, one's a nylon. But and the, you have an Ovation somewhere. I do, that's the only guitar I should play, my yeah. Ovation. Oh. Uh, but the, the nylon thing, the funny thing is, every time... It's out of tune, too. Yeah, it's right. all out of tune. <laughs> but what the nylon one is in the attic, it, which is a finished attic, but still the, the, the strings all blow up and do weird mm. things on them because it's... Next moving. And Mine went out of tune on the G string. I love my G string. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, the B string. Um, <sighs> last Sunday when I was drunk, so I don't know what happened. I just uh, know it was in tune when everybody showed up, but it was out of tune the next day. <laughs> all I gotta, it's probably like super tight. You're just so gonna play it, snap party. your fingers off. It was, it was four of us. You know it's yeah. a good party when you bring Mashed. out the B string. Yeah, when the B string goes. <laughs> right. That's <laughs> no. a string. Normally it's the G string. Right. But so yeah. for a guy, this is a B string. This is a B string. Right. <laughs> That's a ball string. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> How does that come from me? This is going to work. Yes, you did it. Ah, you figured it out. Yeah. Oh, yes. Change the subtle G and ruin it with obviousness. Yeah. Big fan. Balls. All right. <laughs> Get your bitters at awesomedrinks.com. Yeah, yeah. Get your measuring utensils. Mm. And and, and you should you see this nice uh, little number, the, the, glass. the classic martini. At some point, it's going to slide across your screen and it's going to let you click Ooh, on, it, you on it. Yeah, I know. I'm getting all crazy. I know. You're uh, nuts. Production value increased. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Angles. Oh. If you start filming me in 60 frames per second, you just think you can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what's happening. I'm like, why am I stopping here? This, this goes to 11. And, and speaking of which, we're at 12. Pretty soon. It's going to be 13. All right, no, we're done. No, skip that. It goes right to 14. It we're goes done. right to 14 minutes. We're going to make another drink. EverydayDrinkers.com. We're teaching you how to drink. Derek. No. I'm looking forward to this very much. Very much. Very much. So. I like it very much. Normally, you got to wash the wax off that thing. It's not wax, it's just, um... Old?